What's up everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about Starlink and SpaceX. If you're not too familiar with these companies, I ask that you stay tuned because they've got some extremely exciting technology coming out and you need to be on board with this. This is something you need to know about. So if this sounds interesting to you, stay along for the rest of the video and let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay, I'm here with VectorVest, and like I said before, we're going to talk about Starlink and SpaceX in this video. So, maybe it's not something you think about, maybe you live in a city right now, you live in a big city, or really even if you live in the suburbs, your internet and your internet speed might not be that big of a deal for you. But if you didn't know, there are people who live in rural areas or other countries who have extremely slow internet speeds, they're still dealing with dial-up, or maybe they have no access to the internet at all. Now Starlink is going to solve that problem. So for example, I read a few articles today, one about a guy whose internet speeds are less than one megabyte per second. Now this is extremely slow. Mine at my house are roughly around a little over a hundred megabytes per second. And I know that's typically the range anywhere from 100 to 150 megabytes per second is what you can expect with a decent internet service provider these days. Well, Starlink is going to be bringing this speed and better speeds to everybody across the globe. How are they gonna do it? So the plan sounds a little bit crazy, it sounds a little bit wild, but Elon Musk, if you didn't know, Starlink is a subsidiary of SpaceX, and of course Elon Musk is the owner of SpaceX. So what do they plan on doing? The overall goal is to launch somewhere around 40,000 smaller satellites into low Earth orbit. So this is roughly about 500 kilometers off the surface of the Earth, and these satellites are going to be orbiting everywhere around the Earth and providing internet service to everybody that, that needs it, that it's going to be available to. So let's say you live in the middle of absolutely nowhere right now. You have no internet connection whatsoever. Or maybe you're, you're using dial-up, like it's still 1991. I don't know what your situation is. I don't think that's your situation if you're watching this video, obviously. But there are people like that. They have no internet connection and they're not able to, they're not able to do the things that we take for granted every day. So with this technology and with the new uh, launching of these satellites into low Earth orbit, we're going to be able to provide internet service and of course much more to everybody across the globe. And I know if you get into a lot of the research with a lot of the stuff that Elon Musk wants to do, it can definitely sound a little bit intimidating or a, a little bit outlandish, almost like you're, you're watching a Guardians of the Galaxy movie or something out of Star Trek or Star Wars. Let's just say the dude's got an imagination, but guess what? Guys with imaginations and girls with imaginations are who drive innovation. They're the ones that get things done. They're the ones that get things moving. So I absolutely admire this about Elon Musk. Dude, dream it away. Dream it away, Elon. Whatever you can come up with, man, I hope that you can achieve it. But uh, if, you, if you dig into some of his articles, you can see that he talks a lot about uh, colonizing Mars and being able to send satellites to Mars and being able to direct communication, almost instant communication is what he wants, from our future colonies on Mars back to Earth and of course vice versa as well. And he plans on doing this through technology like Starlink can offer through satellites in low Earth or low planetary orbit and this would be a huge step in that direction. Now, why do I bring this up? Because he's already started the process. I forget the number, it was maybe around 100 or so satellites that he has up so far, and he's allowing beta testers, actual customers, to use this Starlink internet. So, right now, yes, it can be a little bit more expensive than your cable providers provide you with the internet, it costs $500 for the base equipment that you're going to need at your house or at your location. It doesn't have to be at a house necessarily, it can be a trailer, it can be out in the middle of nowhere if you want it to be. But it costs $500 for the base equipment that you're going to need and then it's $100 a month uh, 
I don't know, recurring fee that takes place or your, your service fee after that. So what does this get you? The example that I was talking about before, the guy who had less than one megabyte per second download speeds, he was experiencing anywhere up to 170 megabytes per second download speeds. And Elon and the Starlink crew expects speeds of up to one gigabyte per second download speeds. This would be at least 10 times as fast as our current, I would say, average internet speeds. This is a huge increase. And no, he doesn't expect it to be done overnight. It's not going to happen tomorrow. You're not going to wake up with gigabyte per second download speeds. But he expects this to happen over the next decade or so. It takes time to launch 40,000 satellites into orbit, obviously. But this is going to provide Literally, if, if we thought that we were experiencing globalization before, this could take it to the next level. We talk about 5G, the speeds that 5G is going to bring. The speed that Starlink can bring and the amount of people that it can unite could be monumental. We're talking such innovation here that it gets me excited. It gets me excited to talk about the things that could come from this technology. And why do I bring it up? A lot of people, if you search Starlink, a lot of people want to know when this IPO will take place. When am I gonna be able to get my hand on a piece of Starlink? Can I buy part of this company right now? Well, unfortunately not. SpaceX is a private company, so you're not able to purchase SpaceX, obviously. Maybe, maybe if you know Elon Musk personally, you can get a share of the company. Not too sure about that. But SpaceX is private, so you can't get into that right now. And Starlink is a subsidiary of SpaceX, so of course you can't get into that either. But with that being said, people have asked him about it. He sent out tweets about it. So I'm going to read one of his tweets. So the question was asked of him, can you please go IPO with it and somehow let retail investors in early? Retail always gets the tail end of IPOs. And Elon replied, we will probably IPO Starlink, but only several years in the future when revenue growth is smooth and predictable. Public market does not like erratic cash flow. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of small retail investors. We will make sure they get top priority. You can hold me to it. Now guys, if this isn't exciting, I don't know why, I don't know why you look up videos on Starlink or why you look up investing videos. This should get you excited right here. You're gonna be able to have a piece of a technology, of a company that could literally change the future and change the course that we're on as Earth. I mean, we could be sitting on Mars a couple years from now with the way this technology is gonna take us. So this is definitely something to be excited about, but it's not gonna be taking place anytime soon. And I know you can go out there and you can read articles that Starlink's gonna be IPOing and all this and all that, but this is coming directly from Elon Musk himself. And I just want everybody here to be on the same page. I want you to be aware of the technology that is going to be available, that's already starting to be available. And of course, if you're interested in the technology or in being part of one of these beta testers, you can just go to Starlink.com or Google Starlink and check it all out and you can get yourself set up with the Starlink internet service. So if you found this video helpful or if you have somebody that would be definitely interested in learning a little bit more about Starlink or the possibility of the IPO there, don't forget to share this video with your friends. If that subscribe button is still red, if you're not a part of the VV Nation, please click subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you turn on the bell notification so you never miss a video that we post. And until the next time, guys, I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.